Hogarth! Hogarth, come! Where are you? Sit. Sit down. I've always loved animals, so I always drew animals a lot. I just kept adding stuff to them. It's like, oh, I think this cat would look better in an astronaut outfit, or this dog would look better with robot legs. Just why not kind of stuff. Like, uh, it w there was no like rhyme or reason to it. It was just stuff that I thought would look cool. Well, I've always been interested in art ever since I was a little kid. When I was in high school, I got really into graffiti and got arrested a bunch of times. And my mom was like, find a legal way to do these things. So I ended up going to, to art school for graphic design. I ended up meeting like a lot of local rappers, a lot of local graffiti artists, just kind of like got really into the hip hop scene here. And I started doing like flyers for different bands uh, and album covers and stuff like that. I kind of just fell into the whole music festival thing by designing all the work for the Bella Music Festival. And uh, the organizer invited me to do some live painting down there. And then from there, I started reaching out to other bigger festivals. So when we go to these festivals, like we set up like a little, like, like a 10 by 10 tent, just like a, a tiny gallery in the middle of the, this big music festival. Outside my booth, I'll set up an easel with a canvas and I'll, I'll just kind of work on it throughout the festival. These festivals are amazing, like over 100,000 people there. There's people from all over the world. They come in buy posters, so it's awesome. Traveling to these festivals like, is what has like, allowed me to do what I want to do. My own work actually pays more than doing work for other people at this point. Six or 07 is kind of when drippy graffiti work kind of started to get more refined with more line work. Things just didn't feel done until more lines kept being added. Uh, this is a new one that I'm trying to come up with uh, what I'm gonna do for the, the background. The, the face is based on, on my dog and the rest is like a cross between a hairless cat and a dinosaur. Like I have sketchbooks and sketchbooks full of half-finished pieces that never get done. And it's all a matter of if the inspiration sticks around until I think it's done, then I print it and make it. Just random bits and pieces. There's like some dandelions, some bits and pieces of the, uh, the sloth print. Some Indeed stuff, more Indeed roughs. Indeed Brewing is a local craft brewing company that hired me to do all their cans and most of their, their logos and stuff like that. Midnight Rider and Day Tripper were the first two. I like working with Indeed Brewery just because of like how much freedom they give me. Well, this is uh, the, the basement studio. And it's just a, a dingy basement. My, my printer is here. It's where I print all, all my prints. This was uh, the, the first one that I started really printing on my own when I got the, the, the printer. These are just a, a few of the shirt designs. This is Slothzilla. Uh, this is Sir Purrington. The t-shirts I just started doing, right now I have about six different designs and two colors for each design. The future, eventually I want to like, be able to stop doing the festivals, build my t-shirt lineup, and like, get my stuff in stores, basically. Right now, success looks like getting to do what I want to do. Like I was thinking the other day, like it's been a while that I did anything that I genuinely didn't want to do. Like I didn't even let myself dream 
that like I'd be able to make a, a living making my own art. Mm -hmm.